Both change teams study the data given below and answer the following questions. The pie chart shown below shows the distance covered by a boat moving upstream and downstream in different ways days of a week. The table shows the speed of stream in kilometers per hour in different days of a week. Total distance covered upstream is 4800. Sunday is 20% of that. Saturday is 10% of that. Monday is 16% of that. Assorted percentages. Total distance covered downstream is 2400 kilometers. The boat has traveled more upstream than downstream overall. And some day it could be up and down. Overall it has traveled more upstream than, than downstream. Speed of stream on different days, 5 kilometers, 2, 6, no speed is still water, 1, 0, 3. Quite obviously, it's not like a puzzle that we solve and get to the end of. This is just a starting point where a bunch of questions get, get given. So let's go and hit those bunch of questions. The time taken by the boat to travel upstream on Monday is 6, 7 the time taken to travel downstream on Monday. And the speed of the boat in still water on Monday is 15 kilometers per hour. Time taken for upstream on Wednesday is 6, 7 the time taken downstream on Monday. Speed is 15 kilometers per hour on Monday. Then find the still water speed on Wednesday. Obviously, this question itself is telling us that the still water speeds are different on different days. So there are multiple variables. The disadvantage is that every question has to be solved again. Advantage is it's each question at a time. When information is going to be given, we'll attack it. Think about it. Monday, uh, six on the Wednesday upstream time is six seventh the time taken to go downstream on Monday. Downstream on Monday, fourteen percent of sorry, fourteen percent of the total distance is travelled downstream. The speed of the stream is five kilometers per hour. Downstream speed, the speed on on Monday is fifteen kilometers per hour for the boat. So downstream speed will be twenty. Distance travelled is 14% of 2400 speed is 20 kilometers per hour this is based on the pie chart this is based on doing 15 plus 5 15 kilometers per hour the natural speed 5 kilometers per hour because you're doing downstream so time taken on monday time monday downstream time taken to travel upstream is 6 by 7th of this so let's find that and so this into 6 by 7 will be time taken to travel upstream on Wednesday. Let's do this. 2400 by this. So 14% is 14 by 100. One more zero can go off. 1 by 100. 1 more 0 can go off. 24 by 2 is 12. 14 by 7 is 2. 2 into 12, 24. 24 into 6, 144. 144 by 10 is 14.4. So 14.4 hours it takes on Wednesday to travel upstream. And so Wednesday you travel 12% of 4800 kilometers. The speed of 6 kilometers per hour. Let's find the upstream speed. Then we'll worry about this. And so this is the time taken in hours. The distance traveled is 12 by 100 12% of 4800 divided by 14.4 is a speed. Brilliant. I'm going to bring this 100 here into 100. This 0 goes off. 12 into 48 into 10 by 144. I'm going to write 14.4 is 144 by 10. 48 threes are 144. This is 3. 12 by 3 is 4. 4 into 10 is 40. So the speed we have got on Wednesday is 40 kilometers per hour. This is the upstream speed. That is 40 kilometers per hour upstream. The speed of the stream is 6 kilometers per hour. So still water speed on Wednesday is going to be 46 kilometers per hour. 46 minus 6 ends up at 40. So on Monday it's traveling at 15 kilometers per hour. On Wednesday, it's traveling at 46 kilometers per hour. The still water speed. So the boat has wildly varying speeds. The answer we are looking for is the still water speed on Wednesday is 46 kilometers per hour.